Hello there everyone, my name is Chris from VFX On and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a 3D text only using Adobe After Effects. That's right, only Adobe After Effects. So you will not need any um, third-party plugins or any other software like uh, Cinema 4D for an example. So let's just jump into this one. Create new composition. Um, whatever you know whatever settings you want I'm gonna stick with these ones click OK and type your text I'm gonna obviously type uh, VFX on I have changed the color to something you may see so I'm gonna I'm gonna use black um, the color does not matter on your text so you can you can just stick with the white one I'm just gonna I'm, I'm putting a black one so you can see what I typed okay um, now we have to create another actually wait no not yet um, let's rename this to text and now let's create another composition um, again settings does not matter um, and drag the text composition into this new comp then let's make a new solid and the color choose um, for the color you have to choose what um, a color you want your 3d text to be um, let's say that um, I want mine to be let's see uh, let's say something like this okay so mine's gonna be uh, blue and you know so my my 3d text will be blue and you have to pick your color then click OK we can uncheck this and now go to effects simulation and pick shatter um, don't worry the shatter um, shatter effects is already by default inside the end of effects although I don't know if it was in like CS3 CS4 and and other versions but I, I hope it is because right now I'm using Adobe CS6 uh, okay so here um, by the shape here let's change the pattern from bricks to custom and at custom shader map let's change that to text or whatever your composition is named where your uh, text layer is in then go here at force change its strength to zero also do the same for force two strength to zero and by the physics we have changed the gravity also to zero Okay, now here at extrusion depth, let's change this to um, this. Basically, does how so um, basically this depth change as it's saying saying depth um, how depth or how um, wide your text will be. So for example, I'm going to change it to two. Now let's add a new camera. Um, the preset does not matter I'm leaving it at 35 millimeter and let's add a new light like that so now let's go back to your solid and here at camera system choose the comp camera then here at lightning choose from uh, the light type choose first comp light now let's move to view and change from change the wireframe plus focus oh, I mean forces to render it and now we have a nice looking 3d text let's move the light a little bit to here it looks really really good actually I mean like it kinda looks like it, if it would be created in cinema 4d um, another cool feature uh, what you can do is let's go to project let's duplicate our text layer and let's rename the duplicated one to text um, 
Actually, I have no idea how to name it. Let's just name it text text. It does not matter for now. Let's open this up and let's change its color to white for an example. Now, now go back to the origin original um, text. Let's, oh yeah, go back to original one and uh, change the stroke. Let's add a little bit of stroke to it. Let's say, um, let's add 10 pixels of stroke. And now go to your comp and add the text text. I mean, I named it text test. Well, how did that happen? Okay, anyways, yeah, let's drag that text test layer in and let's make it 3D layer. Yep, 3D layer. And now let's move. As you can see, um, we made this stroke 10 pixels, and now you can see a little stroke here, which kind of looks nice. Although I don't like it, to be honest, it's my opinion. I better like it off. But anyway, you can add like um, layer styles. Let's add inner shadows. Here you go. We have an inner shadow. So yeah, that kind of looks nice, I think. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty awesome. Kind of the the, um, the text test layer kind of gives it sort of um, metallic look to it. I, I, I kind of like it. I don't know. But I think it looks better off. Um, with off, for me, it kind of reminds me of the um, Nickelodeon kids channel. I think it kind of, if it would be like orange, it, it would kind of look like that. So yeah, this was a basic fast tutorial on VFX on and I hope you like it. And if you really like it, and I know you do, um, then click that subscribe button, click the nice thumbs up button, ignore the thumbs down button, it does not exist, just ignore it click the thumbs up also please leave a comment down below I would if you have any questions to the tutorial or if you have any suggestions or you know whatsoever just type something down there so I have something to read when I'm going to bed um, yeah favorite and share if you like you know so your friends can watch this awesome tutorial also so yeah um, see you guys next time bye